Welcome back Future Medicos. In a previous video, I have done how many seats are unallotted at the end of round one seat allotment in MCC in deemed universities. That showed roughly uh, which colleges are popular among the candidates and which colleges are not popular among the candidates, right? Roughly, we came to an idea. But now we will look at what is the cutoff for each college in round one seat allotment we will see um, in terms of right in terms of rank or in terms of neat marks which is the topmost preferred college and then uh, it went downwards right so we will see in terms of um, descending order of neat score so this will give you an idea right in round two what are your chances of getting into maybe your dream college or a college which you prefer the most will give you an idea right so let's go into the video okay so now you are looking into the seat allotment for management quota or paid seats or general category whatever you call it this is what we are looking at and i have given you the rank which is the all india rank as well as i have given you the need score so whichever is comfortable you can compare uh, of course this year it's easier to look at the need score comparison but of course subsequent years if somebody is going to see this video probably i would recommend them to look at the rank okay fine uh, so to start with of course we all know that KMC Manipal is by far the most popular deemed university among students and this year is no different. Uh, it closed at All India rank 51,200 at a score of 567 marks. The second popular college was Hamdad Institute at New Delhi, uh, which closed at 560 marks. Then comes at number three, Symbiosis Medical College for Women, 549 marks. KMC Mangalore at 540. Manipal Tata Medical College, 507 marks. If you look at the top five medical colleges, three colleges are from the Manipal group. KMC Manipal, KMC Mangalore and Manipal Tata Medical College. They occupy three spots in the top five. Then comes Rural Medical College, Pims Loni, 458 marks. JSS Mysore, 441. Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belagavi, which is in Karnataka, 437 marks. Amrita Faridabad, which is a new college just starting this year. It uh, occupies the top 10 position. It is a, uh, having a cutoff of 421 marks. Then we have the old uh, Amrita Medical College, which is located in Kerala, Kochi, uh, 414 marks. Right, That rounds off the top 10 medical colleges. And the top 10 medical colleges in terms of cutoff closed at around All India rank 2,10,000. Now going further down, uh, Jagadguru Gangadhar Mahaswami Galu Muru Savirmath Medical College Hubli which is in Karnataka uh, closed at 409 marks. This college uh, was among the top choices last year because it had a, a lesser fees last year I, I think it was around 14 lakh something. This year they have increased the fees to 16.35 lakhs per year. So probably it slightly dropped uh, out of favor from the students but still right um, among a lot of deemed universities i think 16.35 uh, still is attractive so it's still among the top colleges then case egg day mangalore closed at 404 marks then comes the mgm medical colleges mgm medical college navi mumbai closed at 397 mgm aurangabad closed at 383 Ramachandra Medical College from Chennai closed at 375 marks. Kalinga Institute Bhuvaneshwar closed at 373. SDU Kolar, another college from Karnataka closed at 362. IMS Bhuvaneshwar closed at 358. MGM Vashi, which is a new medical college, which is again the group of like Mahatma Gandhi Missions Medical Colleges. Uh, this closed at 354 marks. Bharati Vidyapeet uh, Deemed University Pune closed at 345 marks. So you can see that the top 20 colleges closed at around 3,25,000 All India rank. Then at number 21, we have a medical college from Karnataka, BLDE University, Bijapur, which is closed at 335 marks. SBKS, uh, which is at Vadodara, closed at 335 marks also. Uh, MM Institute, Mulana, closed at 329. DY Patil, Kolapur, closed at 327. Yenipoya Medical College, Mangalore, closed at 326. Sri Siddhartha Medical College Tumkur closed at 295 marks. Krishna Institute Karat closed at 280. Raj Rajeshwari Medical College at Bangalore closed at 273. BV Deemed University Sangli closed at 267. DY Patil Pune closed at 251. 
<clears throat> now we can see that the cutoff has dropped drastically by uh, the 30th college. It's almost around 550,000 now, right? Around 250 marks. Moving to colleges from 31 to 40, uh, you can see that D.Y. Patil Nambi Mumbai closed at 245. J.L. and Varda closed at 241. Datta Mega Nagpur closed at 237. Sri Siddhartha Academy T. Begur closed at 236. Savita Medical College Chennai closed at 231. Yasara Medical College Chennai closed at 193. Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad closed at 189. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College Pondicherry closed at 164. Sri Lalita Ambigai Medical College 163. Uh, Vinayaka Missions Karekal closed at 146. Um, so that's the um, 31st to 40 colleges, which is almost close to around 10 lakh ranks, right? And then uh, at 41, uh, the place 41, we have Chetinad Medical College in Chennai. Uh, which closed at 135 marks. Now, the college is below this, that is college uh, from 42 to 50. These nine medical colleges did not fill all seats. That means, um, for example, Sri Satya Sai has 175 seats vacant. So even though I say here 111, it doesn't mean 111 is the cutoff. It's actually meaning the last candidate to get a seat was 111. Even if somebody who has just passed, they have given this college as a choice, they would have got it. So anything below here, don't look at the score. Uh, you give just a choice, probably you would have got the college, right? So Sri Satya Sai Medical College, uh, which is in Chennai, Lakshmi Narayana Puducherry, Wales Medical College near Chennai, Geetam Vishakapatnam, ACS Medical College in Chennai, Vinayaka Missions Medical College in Salem, which is in Tamil Nadu, Arubadai Vidu Medical College in Puducherry, Bharat Medical College in Chennai, Sri Balaji Medical College in Chennai. These nine medical colleges have seats left even in management quota. The first 41 colleges, all the seats had been allotted. Now, seats had been allotted does not mean seats got filled. Okay, please understand that. All the seats had been allotted. 100% seats had been given to some candidates. Whether they will join, whether 100% of the students will be joining, that's a big question, right? I'm, I'm sure at least around uh, 30 to 40 percentage of seats might go vacant, right? So let's not worry about that all the seats had been allotted. In round two, there will be vacancies. But from college number 42 to 50, even in round one, there are not even takers for the seats. So round two or round three, probably candidates may come and take the seats. One of the reasons also probably uh, these medical colleges, you can see predominantly from Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, and one college from Vishakapatnam, probably the fee structure is something driving away students from these colleges. A reasonably high fee structure, probably that may be the reason. I do not know. But anyway, right, uh, this is how the uh, choice filling has gone. And finally, at 51, I have Meenakshi Medical College. Of course, you all know that this college was removed from counseling uh, at the last minute due to disapproval by NMC. Uh, let's hope that Meenakshi Medical College comes into the counseling in round two. Because one attractive thing with Meenakshi Medical College is they have announced some scholarships. Um, so I hope they come and then probably uh, people can uh, use the scholarship and then study in the college. Okay. Anyway, that's subject to the approval by NMC, subject to the college meeting the requirements of NMC, then only, right, we can talk about all those. Now, who was the last candidate to get a seat in round one counseling under deemed universities? A candidate with 107 marks and a rank of 12,18,682. So in terms of deemed universities, a pass mark is sufficient. The only thing if you put all the 51 medical colleges in your choices, then you will get it. Now, if, what is important? The important thing is put it in the right sequence. If you put it in the right sequence, you will get it, right? Don't think that I should put the bottom nine colleges in the top choices. Not necessary. If you want one of these colleges, if you are interested in this college, you can put it as a top choice. Just because there are seats vacant, don't put this as a top choice. Look at what you want, which college you want, accordingly fill the choices. Don't go by uh, the cutoff. Don't go by how many seats are vacant. That is not important. The important thing about choice filling is what do you want? Which college are you interested? That's what is going to determine the choice filling. So I hope this information is useful to you. If you have any questions related to the cutoff, related to deemed universities, please ask your questions. I will try to address them. Thank you. Bye-bye.